Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you some basic music theory and how you can use those principles to write your very own song or arrangement on the piano. All you really need to know to do this tutorial are the name of the notes on the piano. It would be helpful if you knew your major and minor chords, but it isn't necessary. You can always go back and watch my tutorial on major and minor chords if you have any questions. Now let's write a song. First step, you need to decide if you want your song to be in a major or minor key. Happy songs are typically written in a major key and sad or darker songs in a minor key. Although this is not always the case. For this video, I will show you how to write in a major key and in the next video, I will show you how to write in a minor key. The easiest key to write in is the key of C major because you don't have to worry about playing any of the black notes, only the white ones. It's easiest to first compose in this key and then transpose or move the song to another key later if you want it in a higher or lower pitch. What's great about C major is you can literally make any melody you like by simply playing any white note in any order you want. If you don't already have a melody in mind, just experiment by playing around randomly on the white notes and see what you can come up with. Keep in mind that melodies typically don't jump around too much. They tend to move up or down one note at a time with a few jumps here and there. They also tend to repeat with some small variations. Keep it simple to begin with and just listen, observe, and make note of what you think sounds good. We will play a melody with the right hand and then harmonize with chords in the left hand. Now that we have a working melody, let's add some chords to it. Since we are playing in the key of C major, we can play any chord that is made up of all white notes as well. Remember, all you do to build a chord is use your left hand pinky to play the first note, which we call the root note, and then skip a white note and play the next note with your middle finger, skip another white note and play the next one with your thumb. This is a C major chord. In the key of C, the C major chord is what we call the one chord because it starts on the first note of the C scale. If we move up a step to D and build a chord with D as the root note, we get a D minor chord, which we call the two chord since it's built on the second note up from C. Continuing with this pattern, we move up to the three chord, which starts on an E, up to the next note F, four chord, to the G, the five chord, A, which is the six chord, and last B, which is the seventh chord. When we write these chords down, we use Roman numerals instead of numbers to describe them. One, two, three, Seven. We use Roman numerals when writing chords so that you don't get them confused with other numbers like fingering and such that you'll use later on. Now when you create a harmony in the left hand, you can use any of these chords again in any order you like to accompany your melody. Typically a song is made up of anywhere from three to five different chords. So let's just pick four to start with and see how they sound. Let's do one on C, six on A, three on E, and five on G. Now let's add our melody over that. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So let's continue on by adding a chorus section and switch it up a bit. A simple thing to do to create a chorus section is just change the melody a bit and switch up the chords. Let's try using the two and four chords, which we haven't yet used. 
So let's begin with two, starting on D. Then go to the four chord, starting on F. Then we'll go back to A on six and five on G. Again, two, four, six, five. Now we just add a melody over that. And here's a tip when playing melodies over chords. Try starting the melody with one of the notes from the chord you are playing in your left hand. It will sound a little nicer than playing notes that are totally different from what your left hand is playing. So for example, I'm playing a D minor two chord in my left hand. So I'll start my melody with an F, which my left hand is also playing. Then I'll move around wherever I like. And when I change the chord in my left hand to the F, I'll again start with one of the notes my left hand is playing, which in this case will just be F again. The same when I move to A minor and G. You may have noticed I've repeated the chords and melody with some slight variations in both the verse and the chorus four times each. This is a very common structure for a song. Putting the verse and chorus together now, it sounds like this. Okay, that's about it. We have created a basic outline for a song with a verse and a chorus. To complete the song, you just repeat the verse and chorus again with some variations to make it interesting. You can practice using these same chords in the left hand and create your own melody over it with your right hand or switch up the order of the chords in any way you want to make an entirely different accompaniment. So have fun playing around with these chords and creating new melodies over them and see how many different ideas you can come up with. Here are some other common chord progressions you can practice with as well.